tune the mind of a Dodger in indoor lacrosse, okay? Because in indoor lacrosse, there's a lot more cutting, uh, picking, off ball, a lot of, uh, there's less dodging involved in indoor than there is in outdoor. But there there's, is def of... there's definitely a place for it. You know what I mean? Now in the five on five set, think about it. There are five, sp five spots, obviously, right? Top, middle here. Now you don't stay in these spots, but if you just had to draw guys on a board, this is where they'd be. One guy where we are, one guy over there at the top point, all right, one top point over there, shooter, they're called, and man up. And then down low, you've got crease right hand, crease left hand, all right? So if you're a righty for an indoor, you stay on this side of the floor all the time, all right? Like I rarely go over here. Now, here's the difference between indoor and outdoor. In outdoor, this would be a good dodge, watch. In outdoor, I would try to get up, boom, i try to dodge the alley here. Does anybody know why that's not a good dodge in indoor? Oh, yeah. You get hit up by another guy. Because, because um, you're trying to keep your stick in as close to the alley as possible. You're trying to keep your stick to the inside, right? That's what you were going to say at first. I heard that. You want to keep your stick to the inside. Why? Yeah. Um, because it's a smaller field. Because it's a smaller field, it's a smaller goal, and there's a bigger goal. There's a le very tough shot. Come walk with me. Ready? Here's our move, this is our outdoor move. We're dodging, we're dodging, we beat our guy. Come with me, come on, come on. We beat our guy, and right here is like prime outdoor shot, isn't it? On the run, Mitty taking a shot on the run. Indoor, this is a garbage shot. What I'm saying is this is not a good shot. It's, it, number one, it's pretty far. This is actually considered a far shot in indoor, all right? Because you can get this far, but the goalies wear so much padding that it's really hard to score. It makes you a better shooter. But the other thing is, pretend your stick has eyes, all right? If I'm running over here, look where the eyes of my stick are. Up here. Look at how much goal he covers. He's not even wearing equipment. Look at the size of him, all right? He's going to be double that size with equipment on. That's a hard shot. We want to avoid trying to beat the guy that way as much as possible. Let me show you what, what a good way to do it. When I'm looking at the offensive zone, I don't, this is not exactly the best place for me to dodge from. If I do dodge from here, I start it with the dodge going this way. So if I'm a righty and I want to dodge, again, okay, Mo's guard, guarding me, and I'm a righty, I'm going to take the ball down to the boards here, okay? Because now I've got an option. So come walk behind me. Anytime we dodge, we've got two options. What's, what's, this, what's this option called? Anyone know? Uh, Top side. This is called what? Underneath. So you've got top side and you've got underneath. Right, top side is where you want to get most of the time. Think about it. You, if I get top side, that means I've kept my body between the ball and the defender. Right? Watch. I beat my man. Top side, look where my hands are. Can I shoot like this? Yeah. I sure can. This is a perfect shot. This is exactly where I want to shoot because look at this angle now. That's a pretty good looking shot. If my stick had eyes, that would be a pretty good looking shot. But if you keep your stick to the inside when you're off ball, like if someone's dodging over there, and you keep your stick here, you got a lot of room to shoot at. So you want to find space and get open. All right, so now if I'm going to beat Mo, we all want to beat him top side. Remember, we're going to do some one-on-ones here in a minute. I want you carrying it down to the wing, and I want you to try to beat him top side. Now, if I don't beat him top side, because if he's a good defender, he's not going to let me beat him top side. What's, his good, what's he going to do with his body? He's going to move it over there. He's going to take even another step like that. And he's going to make me do what? Go underneath. So if I'm going to go underneath, I got to go underneath and get the most room that I possibly can, right? It's not enough for me to just go like this. If I go like this, I just walk right into his hands. He says, Oh, he's going underneath now. I can close the gap and cover him. What if I go like this, though? I give him a hop this way. He moves one step that way, right? I give him a hop this way. Next time he moves, boom, I'm going back this way. You see that? I'm watching his feet. Let's pretend he's playing defense on us, and we beat him underneath right here. What do we feel? How do you feel about this situation right here? He's definitely, we're definitely going to get hit. There's definitely going to be contact. We better be ready to sell out to score this goal, okay? So you got two options going to the goal here. One, to try to get underneath him, and then, like I used to do, propel my body across the front and dive and stick it into the corner, which I feel is the easiest way to score. But, because the, the only reason you do that is, think about it, if I beat him, 
and then I bring my stick back, he's trailing me, so I might be in trouble. So the best shot I can get off if I do get underneath is one of these, right? With my, my elbow up or a quick show, tuck and shot. All right, so that's gonna be really hectic. So when I get underneath, I wanna think about driving to the goal and then you guys can push in a little bit and then get a better angle down the side and now you can get your shot up, all right? I don't want you diving the whole time. So let's say he's playing that way. He gives me enough room underneath. I do, we, a, a nice thing I like to do underneath is roll underneath. Now keep my stick to the outside, look where my stick is. All the way out here, all right? So I get up here, I decide I'm gonna go underneath. I roll, coming under. Now, walk with me. This is, a, this is a tough position for an offensive player. Why? Dick's hanging. Because I, I gotta put the ball in the net that's over there, right? But my stick is in front of me. And if I bring my stick back, what happens? He gets it. So what do I have to do? You know, what I, I, what I did in my career was this. I would run, 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 step, dive, and throw it in the goal as I was diving, all right? That's one option. It doesn't feel too good. Hurts a little bit. Feels really good when you score though. You don't feel any pain when the ball goes in the net. But my point is, if you're a righty, you want to pull it down to the wing here to dodge. If you're a lefty, pull it down to the wing over there. Okay, we're going to go one-on-one -on -one right now. So everybody get up top. We have two lines. The one line will be D, the other line will be O. You'll be starting from the middle. Yeah, we're going to start from the middle and I'm going to see them carry it down to the wing before they initiate. Go. Stay in front of them. Stay in front of them. started your first couple steps going this way, this way, now look where your stick is. Now you're all the way out here. You're in no man's land. You made a move, but then look where your stick was. Right back there. Pull it to this side first, so your stick is always away from your defender. Good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Go. Nice, Jet. All right. Good. Carson, which one you? Whoa, nice. Carson. Good lift, Jared. Of course, are you ready or left? Righty. Righty. So, your first move. You, do, you two go again. Jared, come out here and play D again. I want you to go like this. Pull it out here, hop this way, and then right across the top like that. Nice D, by the way. Here you go. Ready? No, come here, Carson. Do it again now. Jared, go ahead. Ready? Pull it over there. You don't have to switch hands. Go back to your right hand. Alright, he knows you're right now. Beat him. Go! Got him! Got him! Ah, oh, good there! Hey, you got the idea though, right? Boom! Right off, get your hand off the stick and sprint. Alright, so if I see somebody this big, I'm gonna come step up like this. Come over here. Make him go that way. Cool. Right? Now he wants, if he goes this way, what's he gonna do with his stick? He's got to go like this, or he's going to just run like this, and then you just whack away at it, right? Ready? Good! Yeah! Huh? back here and you stayed with him. And then he went like this and you jumped over, right? You know he wants to go back that way, right? What's he eventually, if he goes like that and then he comes like this and comes back, you're gonna be there, right? Yeah. So just stay on that one side. Yeah. Right. Go! There it is! Oh, good move. Go. Oh, and explode, there it is! Nice move. The cleats will be in the air. Get ready to roll underneath. Stay underneath. Stay back. Ah, like, get, play D on me. Like, get into the guys. Push me. 
getting into his body and seeing behind his head and seeing the slide coming and making sure, like right now, you can't take the ball away from me, uh -uh. right? Yeah. There's no way if I got my arm like this, right? Yeah. I'm working you like this, I'm going back and forth, throwing a fake here, throwing it behind the back fake, a little fake, back and forth like this, uh -huh. all the while watching the slide, right? And, and all the while getting closer and closer and trying to find a little seam in his defense. Okay. When I find it, I exploit it. Like okay. if, he's, if he's playing back a little bit, it's step back, boom, shot right off his hip. Okay. Or if he's pushing high a little bit too much, it's underneath, okay. all right? But try to slow it down. Okay. Slow that, that that relationship down if you see it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Right. Towards me. Ah, oh, look at all that stick that. you're giving him. You can't, you can't just give it to him. Give me that ball. Watch the difference between, here's what you just did. You came at him like this, exposed. Watch what I'm doing. Ready? Right, now he's moving out towards me, and now I got him, right? As he starts taking his steps towards you, then you explode by him. But you can't, this is just an invite, right? Pick it up, do it again. Ready? Go. Good, good, now go, go, got him. Come here. Start pushing me. He's pushing me. You, push, yeah. you can push me. Push. He's pushing. He's pushing. Right underneath. Okay. Right? Let him push. Do it again. Push. Push. Step. Right? Watch me step away and then underneath him. He'll go right over the top. Or do it again. Pushing. Pushing. Underneath. Rolling back and forth. When he's pushing, you're rolling back and forth. Yeah. And Get low, because he's going to drive right over your shoulders, right? Eventually, there'll be a seam. You just got to be able to keep your balance as you roll in back and forth.